Hi guys, today's practice, we are going to do a gentle um, sun salutation. So a sun salutation um, is a classic warm up in yoga. Um, but if you are quite new to yoga, um, this might be a little bit challenging. Um, I know when, when I teach beginners, um, this could feel quite, um, maybe a little bit more um, dynamic than the other practices that we've done. Um, but give it a go. And as with any of these um, practices, skip it if it doesn't feel quite right to you or adapt it a little bit. Um, but this is a really um, great little routine to learn. And if you do this a few times, you might find you memorize it. And it's a little thing you can do in the morning. Um, really nice little stretch. And what's really, um, key with these um, sun salutations is a particular type of breath and this is called ujjayi breath and this is one of the main um, breath practices that we use in yoga so to learn it I'd like to come to standing and bring your hands out in front of you and imagine that you've got a compact mirror I want you to take a big breath in and exhale out through your mouth, imagining you are steaming up that mirror like this. <sighs> or steaming up a pair of glasses. So do that again. Inhale and then steam up the mirror. <sighs> so you might notice that that ha sound. And that's the key to ujjayi breath. So let's try and make that noise again without this kind of compact mirror idea, but with a little bit of movement. So look down at your feet, bring them hip width distance apart, inside edges of your feet parallel, hands down by your side and stand up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Big smooth breath. And as you exhale, make that ha sound out through the mouth and bring your hands to heart centre. You could close the eyes for this, absolutely. Bring the hands down by your side and let's do that a couple more times with the ujjayi sound. You might be able to find that little sound as you breathe in too. the hands down by your sides. So this time, unless you've got a cold, we're going to try and make that noise, but breathing out through the nose. So in and out through your nose, if possible. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Hands down by your side, trying to find that gentle sound. Do it one more time, reaching up and then hands to heart center and down by your side. It might sound, sometimes we say, we call this breath Darth Vader breath or oceanic breath because it sounds like the ocean. So it's quite a, a relaxing breath. But if it really doesn't suit you today, skip it out. So I want you to walk up to the top of your mat. I'm going to stay here so you can see me. And we're going to add a little bit more movement this time. So keep that breath going as best you can. Reach up as you inhale. Soften your knees and fold forwards as you exhale. Bring your hands onto your shins or your thighs and straighten your spine. So like a folding leaf table, really long spine, shoulders drawing away from your ears. 
exhale, fold back down, nice deep bend in the knees. And inhale, curl all the way back up, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart, hands down by your side. We're going to do that two more times. Reach up as you inhale, fold forward, soft knees as you exhale. Halfway lift as you inhale. Fold as you exhale, soft knees. Curl all the way up to standing as you inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Hands down by your side, reach up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Curl up to standing, inhale, big stretch up. And then hands to heart and hands down by your side. So that's kind of the first little mini um, salutation. And now we're gonna do sun salutation A with a low lunge. So give it a go. Um, it can take a bit of getting used to if you're pretty new to yoga, um, but you can always keep working with that first one we just did as well. So we're at the top of our mats. If we've got a mat um, or a towel on the floor is great too. Reach up as you inhale. Fold forwards as you exhale, soft knees. Halfway lift as you inhale. As you exhale, fold and step your right foot back, fingertips on the floor. So stepping right back to a lunge. Lift the heart up a little bit as you inhale. Remember the ujjayi breath. And then plant your hands down and step back to downward facing dog. So spread your fingers nice and wide, feet a hip width distance apart and just bend one knee and then the other for a moment. Shake your head a little bit and really push your hips up and back. So lots of big bends in the knees. Okay. And take a big breath in. I'm going to step the right foot forwards as you breathe out. You can drop the back, the knees down to do this. Let's all drop the knees down to do this first one. Step your right foot forwards and, and you might need to just help it forwards with your right hand. Release the back toes and reach your arms up to shoulder height on Jane Asana, low lunge. Take some deep breaths here. And then float your hands back down to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee Take your hips back a little bit to help you step up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift again, big breath in. Fold forwards and down as you breathe out. Curl all the way up to standing, breathe in, reach arms up overhead. Hands to heart center and hands down by your side. Do that on the other side, reach up, inhale, ujjayi breath, that sound at the back of the throat. Fold forwards as you exhale. Halfway lift as you inhale. And fold, fingertips to the ground and step your left foot back as far as you can. Lift the heart for a breath in. Step back, down dog. As you breathe out, fingertips spread wide. You can keep moving in down dog, especially if you're new to it. It can feel really much better. And then we're going to step the left foot forwards this time. So remember, you can drop the knees to help the foot forward. You can help it forwards with your left hand so that the knee is over the ankle. Drop your back knee down. You can always fold over your mat or pop a a blanket under the back knee if that's sore. Release the back toes and reach the arms up by your ears. So long through the spine, 
but softening into the hips, deep breaths. Shoulders away from your ears. And then float your hands down to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, hips back a little bit to step forwards. Halfway lift as you inhale. Fold forwards and down as you exhale. Curl all the way up to standing, big breath in. Hands to heart, hands down by your side. Let's do that one more time on each side. Reach up as you inhale. Fold forwards as you exhale. Soft knees as you fold and then halfway lift. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. Fold fingertips to the ground and step your right foot back. Lift the heart as you inhale and step back. Down dog as you exhale. Step your right foot forwards. So help it if it needs a little hand. Drop the back knee down, release the toes, pad the back knee if you need to and reach the arms up. On Jaili Asana, big breaths here. Shoulders soft. And then float the hands back down on an exhale. Tuck the back toes, lift the back heel up and step forwards. Halfway lift as you inhale. Fold forwards and down as you exhale. Curl up to standing as you inhale. And this time we're going to fold straight back down, exhaling. Fingertips touch the mat and step your left foot back. Heart lifts as you inhale and step back downward facing dog as you exhale. And you can keep moving in your down dog, just really stretching the hips up and back. And then step the left foot forwards between the hands, help it if it needs it. Drop your back knee down, release the toes and reach the arms up. Couple of breaths here. Float the hands back down to frame your front foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, hips back to step forwards. Halfway lift as you inhale. Fold forwards as you exhale. And curl all the way up to standing, reach the arms up overhead, big stretch up. Hands to heart centre. And hands down by your side. Stand up nice and tall. Breathe here. Imagine you've got a string on the crown of your head and it's drawing you gently up towards the ceiling. And you could end this with a little meditation, or you could lay down on the floor, or you could just stand here with your breath for a minute or so before heading off into the rest of your day. Um, so a great thing to do in the morning um, and hopefully you feel a little bit more stretched out. Namaste everybody.